Well, with the weather getting warmer, a lot of folks are firing up their grills for lots of meaty barbecued goodness. Yeah, rubs and barbecue sauces are so popular right now. They add so much flavor and take our food to a whole new level of goodness. And here to show us how to spice it up like a grilling champ is grilling champ, Mike Richter. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming, thank you, thank you. So, thank what you. are we making today? Well, we're going to have you make a quick, easy rub that everyone can do at home. Okay. You've got sugar, salt, pepper, a little chili powder, some paprika for a little color, a little onion powder, garlic powder, and a little cayenne just to kick it up a notch. Okay. You mix all those together. You want me to mix this all we together mix, right you now? Mix that all together. Okay. Are, is it already measured? It's already measured. Oh, okay. And, and you, I believe on the website you've got all the measurements yep, down. We all do. the specifics we you got to have. We'll okay. tell you how to get that here in just a little bit too. While she's doing that, do you want to go ahead and see about whisking up a quick sauce? Yeah, yeah. What's, what goes in here? This we've got just two cups of a regular off-the-shelf sauce. Just we're just going to kick it. Up. Yeah, we're going to make kick it better. It we're, yeah, take a familiar right. flavor and add a little bit to it. What are we putting in? So we've got some pineapple juice. We got okay. a splash of vinegar. We have got some butter, and some little secret stuff we're, over we're, there. We're putting <laughs> pineapple juice in here? Really? A little, little, just a little bit of pineapple just juice. Just a little about, bit. About a quarter cup. Okay. About a quarter cup. That's all this though? Yes. Okay. All, all those go in there and get whisked all together. You've Woo. seen me cook before, haven't you? You knew you better measure that before we start. It just makes it easier okay. for everybody. Okay, so yeah. when we're putting a rub on a chick on the chicken, is there anything we need to do to the chicken before we rub? Well, it's, it's always good to make sure you've rinsed everything off, mm -hmm. and especially with poultry to keep yourself, you know, safe so you don't get ill. Yeah. The okay. uh, We get all those whisked together. Okay. I think I got it good and mixed up yeah. here. And we've already got some made up here for you. We got the, the chicken there. You got this here. Okay. Now when you well, go ahead and put your rub on, you want to kind of shake it out lightly so it, it fills all over. Like there you go. You like that? Yeah. Just like a little snow falling oh, down. So that like way, a little snow globe. Right. That way it goes evenly all over the, all over <laughs> the chicken. Although we don't like saying the word snow no, around no, here. No, no. We've had, we had way too much this <laughs> time ago. Rick, okay. I'm, I'm not going to be a know-it-all or anything, but you know that secret ingredient tasted a lot like honey. <laughs> it, it, it is. You can that one, that, that's what Did it I was. give away the certain Yeah, the that's secret? all good. It's all on the yeah. website. So. so did I get enough on there? I think it is. You could probably hit the little spot that right one there. there. A little bit more. Okay. And I think it looks good. Okay. And we'll let it sweat just a couple minutes, and then we'll put it on the grill. We like to do an indirect so you don't burn it underneath. Okay, so I'm not really rubbing it. No, no, that's a misnomer. So oh, so that's a misnomer. I it's, didn't know that. It, it's a rub that you make, uh -huh. but it's it's just spices. But you don't rub it. You don't. If you rub it, you're just going to grind okay. it all it in there. Okay. Just grind it all in it's there. It's just going to okay. sit there and sweat a little bit. And okay. so you're telling me that Lisa just made a sprinkle. She just made a sprinkle. <laughs> okay, just check it. And okay, how are you doing over there, Jimmy? So what we got here is some, some cook wings, right? Got, got some ready for you to sauce. Okay, does it matter if I brush this on or Not at all, whichever way you'd like to just do it. Just whatever I like. Some people will tong it, some people have little cute little hooks. Brush just seems to be the easiest yeah. way and the way that we've done it most of our lives. So, so then after I do this, I'm going to shove it in the oven, right? Yeah. Or long? on the grill, on, on the, the grill. indirect Even grill, better. so that way it'll get a nice little glazed color to it. How long? Three to five minutes. I mean, depending on how hot your fire is. Right. Uh, I tend to cook the, the wings, especially warm, because you want the get a little crispiness to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, can you put too much sauce on it? Is there such thing? Not for me. Not for but, you. <laughs> <laughs> this, but okay. uh, I'd be just pouring it all yeah, over there. Well, and you can do that, or you can just dip them down in here and do that. All right, I'm going to cook. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Watch this. I am so good, not only through the magic TV, but I can put it in one thing and pull it out of another. Oh my goodness. That's, 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 here, that's talent. How quick that's is that? Talent. How about that? Look at this. That looks delicious. That really does look good, Rick. Liking that a lot. All right. Okay, now. so uh, so the rub we, we put in the, on the grill. Put it on the grill. Let yeah. that sit. Depending on how hot your grill normally, I try to grill it around 350, 400. Mm -hmm. It's going to be done in a half hour. You want to make sure the wings are at least 180 because that'll get your skin crispy on the outside. Right. Sauce them, put them back in for three to five minutes, let the sauce glaze. Right. And you're ready to eat. Okay, so mm -hmm. she's made hers up. We're going to cook those, and then you're going to have a competition. You're going to decide which one of us did better, her rub, her sprinkle, or my glaze. Right. My rub. That's, that's, that's going to be tough. Yeah. Her, she got it mixed together pretty quick there. Yeah. Of course, you got your yep. sauce in there. Yes, you, I did. But you gave away my secret thing, so <gasps> oh. I'm afraid we have a winner. Are you telling me that Lisa won already? 
<laughs> See how this works. Nice. Don't and forget there are several ways that you can get the shopping list and instructions on how to make these recipes. All you have to do is send in, let us know it's the barbecue rub and sauce recipe. Send it to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard in Salisbury in Maryland 21801. Or just go to our website, demarbalife.com. And the number to call if you like, 443-880-9116. Oh, Jimmy, this is really good. Is Why aren't really you eating it yet? Wow. Mm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is really good. <laughs> Remember, this was the magic one I put in one place and pulled out another, so That's you know it, it must be good. Yeah. It. Well, if you think this all looks good, you ain't seen nothing yet. Mm. We'll tell you how. You can get all of this and then some. It's all part of the Triple Threat Barbecue Beer and Music Festival. We'll learn all about it next. You know when your barbecue is really good? Mm. That's this message. <laughs> Del Marble Life will be right back.